Yep, let's do it. Well, Big D back with a uh, Tuesday night edition of the Big D podcast. Before bringing the night's guest, please subscribe, like, and share the Spunky Spectrum Sports YouTube page. Brought out the Jaguar shirt today, so uh, you know what that means. We're going to talk about my favorite NFL team. Also, check out the uh, Big D podcast for all your audio listeners on Spotify and Apple. So uh, joining us from Duval County, uh, co-host of the Full Press Pant Fantasy Podcast, uh, Brad Holvin. Brad, uh, how are things ha- going in uh, your neck of the woods? Hey, what's going on, Dylan? Uh, yeah, man, that shirt looks good on you. Uh, just uh, coming through nice and nice and pretty. Just getting getting ready for the uh, getting ready for the season. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're at a uh, Full Press Fantasy Podcast. I'm actually right in the middle of, of uh, three different. Uh, dynasty uh, drafts going on. Uh, I don't know how I'm finding time to do that with my crazy life, but uh, they, they were all all lined up uh, right right after the draft. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun. One of them's uh, one of them's been a uh, something I've never done before, which is the dynasty best ball. Which basically the most action is at, at the beginning of the um, uh, of the league. So all the drafting because in the during the season. Basically, the computer just takes your best player's score for that week, and so so you don't really have to like decide who to start and sit. Uh, but it, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, because I definitely feel like a uh, feel like a general manager. I mean, th- there's been so many trades flying left and right. I mean, I just finished one before we uh, jumped on here. So, uh, any listeners out there uh, into fantasy football, give uh, give a uh, best ball a try and give a uh, dynasty best ball a try. I think that's something that that's uh, fairly new. Hey, uh, I'm in a, I'm in one dynasty league, and I I made a trade the day I tra- I traded uh Jameson Williams from Calvin Ridley, and uh, I think two o eight or two o nine, and okay, league. Jameson Williams for Calvin. Yeah, I, no, I I like the Calvin Ridley for sure, definitely. And not just because he's on our t- he's not he's on the Jags, but because. I wanted I wanted the pick, so I I've got the one hundred three, and I've got a one hundred three. It's a one QB league, so I'm thinking, I obviously B John would probably be one on one, but whoever goes, whoever doesn't go between probably uh, Jameer Gibbs and JSN, right? Yeah, yeah, most likely. I mean, um, yeah, one quarterback league. Yeah, I think you definitely have to go with the. I mean, I don't know how. I, I, I don't know, you know, where you are in a uh, quarterback as far as, uh, you know, what you already have, but, uh, yeah, Trevor. definitely. Uh, what's that? Trevor. Okay. Can't, can't go wrong there. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, I think, uh, Gibbs, uh, Gibbs capital value. I mean, I think he's going to go up there and, uh, and be a big part of what they're trying to do in Detroit. So I, 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 I would, I would tend to lean, lean there, uh, with him. Uh, I, I've seen him go a little higher than, than, it, than expected, but that was before the draft. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think right around that area is, uh, is where it's at. All right. So, uh, obviously the NFL schedule release is in two days and, uh, we'll officially know when, when every Jackson Jaguar game will be, we know who the Jaguars play and uh, what state, but we don't know when the Jacks play. So, for instance, and since the Jaguars could start the season against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, or potentially start the season against the Atlanta Falcons, we don't know yet. Brad. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the the mystery's there, but uh, hopefully, it's going to be. Un- it sounds like it's going to be unveiled on Thursday. I, I know there's a lot of anticipation around here uh, for many years, years. Year after year, it seems like uh, Jacksonville, you know, just uh, they don't get any primetime games. But I think after what they uh, accomplished last season and, uh, you know, just the the drama that they uh, they were a part of, I mean, it was a little, little scary. That Chargers game was a little scary, not to mention the Tennessee game even before that. Uh, I mean, really coming down to the fourth quarter. Um, I, I think with a, with a strong young quarterback, um, you know, uh, I, what I think is going to be just an absolutely dynamic offense. I mean, that's something that uh, that I would think that the uh, producers want to have on television. I, I would love for uh, 
you know, a night game to be here, but uh, th there could be something on the road as well. So, uh, yeah, a lo lot of excitement uh, here about the schedule for the first time in a, in a while. What are, what, what are some of the, the games you remember against the 2023 opponents? Because the Jackals played the played the AFC North this year. Jackals used to be in the AFC Central where they would see the Ravens, Browns, Steelers, and Bengals back in the day. So it is sort of like reacquainting ourselves. Obviously, we remember that crazy game with Baltimore last year. The Jaguars beat right. the Steelers a couple of times in the playoffs. Sure. Uh, Jeff and Joe Burrow uh, Thursday night a couple of years ago, and uh, Browns fans don't remember a crazy game where I remember the dog pound throwing beer bottles and everywhere on the field. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Cleveland for you, though, for sure. Definitely. So, um, out of those four, out of those AFC North teams, who are you looking forward to see, seeing? Probably Cincinnati, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think the easy answer is Cincinnati, but uh, also, I mean, uh, I, I would love for, for them to open the season against the Ravens. I think uh, I think that would be a great uh, litmus test to, to start off, really, for both teams. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, Lamar Jackson just signed a big contract. He, he's, you know, strolling in there, uh, you know, the highest paid player in the, in the NFL. Uh, we would love to, for him to come down here in that heat, uh, put them in the black jerseys, uh, let them sweat a little bit here. And in, uh, in September, uh, so I I would love to see that as an opener, but uh, but for for you know, just pure enjoyment and, and value, I'm I'm definitely looking forward to see Trevor and uh, Joe Burrow go at it, two two of the best young quarterbacks in the NFL. I would have to th I would have to think if they would say prime time game, it's either going to be that game or another young quarterback. We'll talk in just a minute, but obviously the Ravens seems like the. Ravens always end up playing one of, if not both, the Florida teams, whether it be Jacksonville, Tampa, or Miami. Last year, the Ravens ended up playing all three of the Florida teams. Wow, I didn't, yeah, I, I didn't know that. I, I definitely remember the Jacksonville one. So, uh, week two, oh, Baltimore yeah. beat Miami week, excuse me, Miami beat Baltimore week two. Then the right. Ravens beat Tampa on a Thursday night, and then obviously we know the uh, Jag game. Sure. So, um, obviously, the divisional games uh interesting uh, with a uh, Houston, Indianapolis, Tennessee. All three of those teams drafting quarterbacks. Right. So, um, what quarterback out of those three rookie quarterbacks, which one do you think could pose the biggest challenge only in his young? Yeah. Career? Um. I mean that. That's uh. That's hard to say. I mean, uh, it, it, if there's ever been a window for, for Jacksonville to get to the big game, I, I think the window is the next – definitely definitely next year and possibly the year after that. I, the next two years is is crucial for Jacksonville to uh, to make those strides uh, with, with because of the reason of what you said with the rookie quarterbacks going to uh, all three other divisional teams. Um, I guess probably for me the quarterback I don't want to see um, – and it's probably a homer pick is uh it's going to be Anthony Richardson because of what he can do with his legs uh with a with the running game with uh Jonathan Taylor there with an underrated Colts defense uh that can uh you know uh help 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 them control the game a little bit i i still think the Colts are, are a few players away uh but uh, uh Richardson is in my opinion poses the biggest threat now i mean Stroud um uh, going down Going out of Houston, I mean, uh, that that was a great pick. There was so much smoke screen about that. I was like, I remember, like, leading up to it, I'm like, what do you mean they're not going to take Stroud? I mean, I, I saw mock drafts with them, and I was like, are you kidding me? Uh, so, uh, I, but they're, they're, they're still several players away. I mean, they, they definitely did some good things, you know, uh, getting the two and three pick of the uh, NFL draft. But uh, uh, he there, there's no weapons down there, really, for him to uh, materialize, uh, even with uh, Dalton Schultz coming over from uh, – Dallas, uh, he he's gonna certainly gonna be a safety net, but uh, I don't think Houston really poses a threat. And then uh, Tennessee, I I don't think Tennessee's done uh, wheeling and dealing. I I don't know, I don't know if Tannehill's actually gonna still be around and Levis is gonna start the season. Um, they're, they're a little bit of a mess, uh, just like their stadium. Uh, so I I, I would uh, have to say uh, you know, going against Richardson in, in a dome is uh gonna be uh, definitely a a tougher task. 
than it seems like it should be on paper. I mean, be honest with you, I've heard a lot of people say this Jacksonville could end up the one C in the AFC, which is something I never I didn't think would happen. But if you look at it, the AFC South all right. are 15 draft quarterbacks. I mean, more knows what Tanner will bring you. Plus, Tennessee's offense line wide receiving cool bad last yeah, Exactly. But, yeah. I mean, I think the Colts are going to be a power running team What with Taylor and Anthony Richardson if and when he plays. Because he, I mean, Anthony Richardson could end up being Josh Allen or he could end up, or he could end up being, uh, I'm trying to think, who'd be, who would be a talented quarterback? Maybe Jamarcus maybe, Russell. <laughs> oh, gosh, Jamarcus <laughs> Russell. Don't throw that name. Yeah. And then Houston, I mean, yeah. CJ Stroud going to bring the curse of Ohio State state quarterbacks not performing in the NFL. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, like I said, I mean, this is definitely the window for the uh, for the black and teal to uh, to make some noise. Uh, they shouldn't get they, and if they want to take that step, they can't go worse than five and one in the division. I I, I don't care. I mean, you you have to sweep at least two of the teams and. Uh, uh, you know, if if you split on the road with with one, you know, I, I get it. But uh, I mean, this is an opportunity, really, just to, uh, you know, just you know, make a statement that you know we're here. We we have our franchise quarterback. We're the best team in the South, and we're gonna. It's not going to be a one year fluke like 2017. We're, we're it's going to be sustainable. I think uh, with uh, Doug Peterson at the helm as the coach, I think uh, that's going to do a tremendous amount of. Uh, you know, uh, just uh, keep keeping them focused and in and, and their eye on the prize. But uh, yeah, it's gonna. I mean, it's a big year. I mean, uh, and Dylan, I gotta tell. You, I mean, like year after year, I I, I get a little hyped hyped around here. I mean, everything that you read and hear, and and, and only to be uh, disappointed. But uh, I think this year the uh, the hype is real. Uh, my wife would uh, probably disagree with, with me. She uh, she thinks I'm living in delusional land. But I I just uh, really feel that. I really feel this offense is, uh, I mean, has potential to be top five in the NFL. And uh, the defense, defense started playing better uh, towards the end of the year. Still got to get a pass rush. That's, uh, that is, that is key. I know, I feel like we talked about that last time. Um, but I, but I, but if you can score more than, than the other team, I mean, you're, you're going to win. And they certainly have the weapons, uh, adding, adding Ridley, keeping, keeping Ingram at least for a year. And, uh, uh, Etn uh, back back healthy as well. So we got Zay Jones uh, and uh, Christian Kirk was certainly uh, surprising to a lot of people. I I, I felt like like he was going to be able to do and come in and do what he did last year. Uh, so just needs to build off that and uh, and that uh, that offense is just going to fly. Well, two AFC uh, perennial teams with uh, super amazing quarterbacks uh, will be part of the schedule because Jacksonville. Won its division, so it gets what the Jacks reward is. They get to play Pat Mahomes and Josh Allen this year. Woo! Sure, yeah. And uh, what, or, or I guess one of them, one of them at home, one of them on the road. Looks and like at yeah, home, Buffalo and Orchard Park. Okay, yeah, they don't like us too much, so that that, that could be a could be an interesting uh road trip up there. Um, Particularly hopefully- if it's in December. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hopefully, it's not in late November, or December. So, um, yeah, we can play them early. Get get them out of the way early. See, I mean that that be that certainly be another test as well. I mean, uh, you, you mentioned uh, Josh Allen, but yeah, I mean the Bills are Bills have been on the cusp, and uh, that's where the Jaguars want to be this year. You know, if if not beyond, so uh, go up there, give them a good game. Uh, they they they're obviously uh, beatable at home. I mean, uh, Burrow and the boys uh, did that last year. Uh, you know, it, it's it's sure it, it's a tough place to play, but uh, you know, if, if you go up there and uh, execute the game plan and uh, keep uh, Josh Allen in front of you, uh, you know, you, you you're gonna have an opportunity at the end to uh, to pull one out. And plus, then we can see Josh Allen instead of Josh Allen again. There you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Maybe our Josh Allen will have another huge game like he did uh, in that. Uh, riveting, what nine to six game? I think it was. Oh, yeah. which, which one? It seems like every time the Bills and Jets. Yeah, it's low score. Yeah, County. take the under. Take the under. If they're playing each other. Take the under. History. 
Although how although how's that going to be with a great quarterback on one side and a great quarterback on the other side? Though? True. Yeah, yeah. Vegas may be uh, sucking in on that one. So yeah, yeah. Interesting. Good point. So obviously, with these interconference games, the Jaguars are facing the NFC South. So uh, the uh, Jags will welcome the Atlanta Falcons and Carolina Panthers to the fall, they go to New Orleans and Tampa. So when I think of that, I think of uh, the Atlanta Falcons coming. I'm like, hmm, of all the revenge games this year, could there be a bigger one for a player than a certain I, certain wide receiver, I don't remember his name, who used to play for the 30 Birds? Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I should make a place a bet on what you're going to say. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bet <laughs> in the state of Florida now. You mean on Calvin Ridley reception yeah. that game? Yeah, for sure. I, I know he's got that one circled, uh, or he will have that circled on a uh, Thursday night. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm expecting uh, big things uh, from from Ridley in that game for sure. I mean, I'm I'm intrigued because usually the NFC South be a tough division, but I don't know about the NFC South. I mean, yeah. I mean, Tampa with Baker Mayfield, not good. I mean, mm-hmm. the Atlanta Falcons, I like the offense. B. John, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, but is Desmond Winner good? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Saints, uh, yeah, they got Derek Cole, but is Daniel Allen a good coach? Because if you look at his win-loss record, it's not good. Right. And then the Carolina Panthers, yeah, I think Frank Wright's a really good coach, but is Bryce Young going to last more than three weeks? Right. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's a that's another uh, great uh, great point. I mean, uh, yeah, the NFC South is certainly up for grabs. Uh, whoever whoever wants to take it, I, I think the the winner of that could be um, could be eight nine and win the division. Uh, that, that that's how that's how I guess the that that's how it could shape shape out. Uh, just it, it, but but I think. I think three of the teams can be eight and nine. And it's just, and there'll be like a tiebreaker or something like that. I don't, I don't think anybody uh, is elite. I mean, I could be wrong. Somebody could uh, step up. Uh, my my guess would be, ah, oh, man, I don't even know. My, yeah, I think my guess would be the Saints uh, to come out of there. Um, there's been a lot of talk about the Falcons, uh, you know, ma- making a push. Um, but uh, if I had to bet on anybody, it would probably be the Saints. And uh, yeah, Or maybe I'll just uh, – I'll I'll call Kevin Ridley and see what he wants to do. It's funny. I I would think the Pan- I actually like the Panthers. I think the Panthers could. Yeah. Be- it's always a surprise. Sure. Bryce Young's really good. I like the Carolina draft. They got a um, Mingo from Ole Miss, right? The uh, right. Yeah. Plus, uh, plus, I think Carolina Stevens better than people give him credit for. Yeah. And uh, with Frank Wright, I think he's going to get the most out of Bryce Young. Now, how long that lasts? We don't know yet. Right. Sure. Yeah. Well, obviously, we've talked about 16 games. There's one more left because a couple years ago, the NFL added a 17th game. And this year, the San Francisco 49ers hold that 17th game. Luckily, for the Jacks is in Duval County. But the last time San Francisco came, it sounded more like Candlestick Paul 2.0. Right. Right. Yeah, for sure, for sure, and uh, I mean, uh, it sounds like that for a lot of teams around here, unfortunately. But uh, I, I think the, uh, the 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 city has certainly embraced the team. I mean, I I saw it last year uh, with the playoff push. I mean, you couldn't find. I remember trying to buy my mom a, a Jaguar shirt for her birthday. Her birthday's in early uh, January, and she she kind of got got into the hype, and uh, you couldn't find anything. And, uh, even going on Amazon, it wasn't going to get there before the game started or something like that. So uh, this team certainly embraced. I think uh, we can try and keep those uh, other fans, at, you know, out of the stadium, lock down the bank, as they say here. And um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, whew, that, that'd be a fun game to go to. I mean, uh, 49ers going to come in with a with a rushing attack, uh, most likely Purdy at a uh, at quarterback and, uh, just you know, a, a group of dynamic receivers. Uh, you know, an all pro tight end, also a uh, Christian McCaffrey. But if he's hurt, oh, they'll, they'll just hand the ball off to uh, Elijah Mitchell, who's uh, also very talented. And of course, they have a you know, a, a uh, 
certainly an above average uh, defense that uh you know can um can make make waves on, on that west coast and uh and you know ha- handle that nfc west so uh yeah i'm certainly glad that they're they're, they're coming in town and uh, we're not traveling across because uh typically we don't do 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 too well on the west coast although we kind of broke that curse in, in la last year well because uh, san francisco is tough well, yeah well because justin herford was banged up in that game but that's a oh, story for another poor day. baby yeah yeah <laughs> sure yeah, I'm like I'm like I'm almost glad we don't play the Chargers because I'm I think they'd be really good this year. But yeah, for sure. So um, obviously every team gets what at least one time prime time game. Will the Jags get an extra Sunday night or Monday night prime time game this year? Because. Yeah, Jackson's not the biggest media market, but obviously they got a Saturday night game in week 18, a Saturday night wild card game, and then a Saturday afternoon division round game. Right, right. What's the over under on primetime games for the Jacks this year? I'll set it at one and a half. Yeah, well, you, you took the words right out of my mouth. I mean, I, I think they deserve to, um, I, but. I, I I don't know if the NFL is gonna, you know, grant them that. Um, if they do, I, I think one would be on the road, one would be here, um, most likely. Um, and I'm afraid that if it's one, even with the big showing, the you know those last uh, couple weeks that you know that, that we talked about against Tennessee and and the Chargers, I'm not sure if they're gonna want to come here unless it's a Sunday night game. You know, uh, pitting you know against one of those young quarterbacks, whether it's a uh, I mean, I I think I think a Jacksonville Cincinnati Monday night or mon- Sunday or Monday night game would be a uh, tremendous. I think that'd be a that'd be a lot of fun here for sure. Sign me sign me up for Joe Burrow and Pat, and Trevor Lawrence because we saw it in New Orleans, saw it saw it a couple of years ago. How about yeah. we see it this year, right? Yeah, yeah, we saw it on thir- uh, what Thursday night. Yeah, that's when that's when Urban's hung back with the blondie, right? After that game, if one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Redacted hanging out with the blondies <laughs> at the ball. Yeah, yeah. His name, his name will not be said on this show. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So if the Jacks get an extra primetime game this year, who do you, who do you, what team do you think would be the likeliest candidate for said game? Um, Like I said, I think it would be a road, road test and – I mean, I I think I think the NFL likes to uh, you know put it against those put you know put the young quarterbacks against each other. Uh, I mean, I I don't know if the Bills. I mean that 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 would be great to to go up there. Although it'd be kind of kind of a rowdy place with the Bills Mafia, um, on, you know during the during the night game. But uh, I don't know. Probably I mean what everybody has to do a Thursday night. So, um. I don't know, maybe in the dog pound. Go go back to the dog pound. Something like that. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, that'd be fun. That's weird. I've got I've got a sneaky suspicion. I've got a sneaky suspicion the Jaguars and Bucks are gonna play a Thursday night game with Tampa. I just have a feeling. That's fine. Yeah. That that'd work too. Um they haven't announced the uh London game, right? I mean that that's all part of this too. Or or, or, or was it narrowed down at all? I have no idea who the Jacks are playing in the UK. Gotcha. I guess we'll find that out on Thursday too. <laughs> Just thinking, like, what they have the divisional game in the UK? I don't think they can have. I don't think they would have. The- I, I mean, they played the Texans there one time, and Colts. Yeah, but I don't remember many divisional games in yeah. London or the UK, in London or Germany or whatever the games are. Yeah. Yeah, they played the Dolphins there once, I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, my best friend's a huge Dolphin fan. He really loves the 2021 <laughs> game. <laughs> sure. So, um, do you th- – what would what would be a nightmare schedule for the Jaguars to face? Would it be, would it be better to get all the quarterback teams, Kansas City – 
Cincinnati, Buffalo, or even San Francisco out of the way early, or tr- maybe get one, or what would be like the best and worst possible schedule outcomes for the Jags? Yeah, I, I think having three out of those four, uh, you know, Buffalo, Cincinnati, Kansas City, and uh, San Francisco, have three out of those four towards the end of the schedule. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna be rough. Which which I, I realize that they'll probably end. I, I mean, they will end with a divisional game. But uh, uh, you know, you throw three of those teams uh, when you're maybe trying to scrape for for a playoff win, uh, and they've had you know a majority of the season to to start clicking and and uh, getting things going. I, I would rather you know I'd rather kind of split it up. Um, you know, I mean, Mahomes is tough you know, no matter what, um, but kind of, kind of want to face them early. Uh, I, I think uh, just uh, for, for weather purposes, especially, well, I mean, I guess someone's here. Right. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, maybe, maybe Kansas city and Buffalo early and then, uh, you know, Cincinnati and, uh, and San Francisco can be later. Um, I don't know. That, that's off the top of my head. Did you, do you have uh, any thoughts on that, Bill? I would be okay if the Jags started the year in Buffalo. I know you think I'm crazy. No. But right. but I think the Jags have a better head coach, better offensive mind head coach. Plus, if the Jags start the season in Buffalo, the weather's not going to be as – That's going to be a pretty – sure. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That wouldn't be a bad thing. One of the first two games up there. Sure. I I don't want to play the Chiefs. I don't want to see Kansas City week two. I'd rather see Kansas City week 15 or 16. Because guess what? If the Chiefs play, when the Chiefs play that opening Thursday night game, guess what Andy Reid usually does if he's he's got extra rest? He usually beats you. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's got two rings to show it too, for sure. Who would who do you think the Jacks end up getting week one? I'm gonna stick to my guns here and say it's gonna be Baltimore. I think uh uh I I, I think uh they're gonna uh host Baltimore week one, you know, c- come on down here. Um or I mean I, I think it could be them. I, I, I also possibly you, you said that also possibly the Dolphins. I think that'd be a a nice ratings boost for for the state of Florida. I mean, certainly a nice little uh, something for for everybody team. to see. Jaguars don't play Miami this year. Next oh, year, I th- I, they they don't. No. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, definitely not Miami then. Uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking they were playing the AFC East. Um, yeah, I mean, I I think. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with Baltimore. Uh, you know, at home, if they're if they're on the road to start off with, um, I, I think it could be, um, it could be a divisional game. Something something I've seen them do to the Jaguars a few times. You know, go up to Indy or or, or start off in Houston, something like that. I'd be okay with that because potentially CJ Stroud only. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. yeah. They'd be a, they, they'd certainly be a favorite. Yeah, I mean that that that's another thing you know. Think about you know, they're actually gonna be favored in some of these games. I mean, you can't, you haven't been able to say that, that since uh 2017 twenty eight twenty seventeen and early part of twenty eighteen. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a see how they uh get, can can handle that uh you know uh being the targeted for a change. Yeah, be the hunter instead of the hunted, right? I mean, the hunted instead of the hunter. Exactly. Exactly. Can't even get my jokes right. That's all right. I I, I told him. I told him that I said they were playing the Dolphins. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> we're even. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're even. We're even. That's that's why I I get. Oh, dang it! Now I can't even take it out now. <laughs> well, Brad, um, thanks for hopping on tonight. Hopefully, I uh, wish you and the uh, Miss as well as you both celebrate birthdays this weekend and. Uh, Hopefully Duval County is rocking rocking this year because I think we both like to see the Jags play some January or even February football. 
Absolutely. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be a lot of, that'd be uh, certainly something new. And uh, Dylan, I, I appreciate the uh, birthday wishes and uh, I will be uh, checking in with you when that schedule comes out and get your thoughts, bud. Thanks for having me on.